Hello, welcome back. Mike from Canavan Wealth. Today we are talking about revocable life insurance trusts. So this very good article just went up on the website, on the blog. It is about life insurance trusts, specifically revocable ones. And, and if you dive into it, it's specifically about unfunded, which we're going we're, we're gonna to learn about. Now, this is the purview of uh, estate attorneys, and they are invaluable in this. Although I've always been of the mind that if you really want to manage your own finances through retirement, that most people are perfectly capable of that. They just need to do the work and put in the time and stick with it through their entire retirement. Now, if they don't want to do that, then they can work with a flesh and blood financial advisor uh, who will largely do that process for them. That is not the case, in my opinion, when it comes to really estate planning, any type of trust. Virtually everyone in the world needs a will. Uh, I would strongly recommend you not use anything like LegalZoom or some type of discount kind of lawyer service where you're not getting personalized attention from an estate attorney. The nice thing about estate attorneys is, is they generally work you know, in a specific way. They have a bill and, and you don't deal with them again. You can often ask them questions along those lines or something. on the. But it's not like a, something that you have to work with every single year. Uh, so I am not qualified to be an estate attorney. And I learned a ton reading this article. It's probably one of the best articles we've posted on the website in terms of actual meat, in, in terms of learning it. Uh, this was very interesting about funded versus unfunded, uh, specifically around the life insurance trust and why <clears throat> seems to be implying that you don't want it uh, funded because of the way trusts are taxed, which is something I talk to clients a lot about, uh, you know, in terms of keeping money out of trusts until you've passed or something along those lines uh, for lots of very important reasons. But um, this and then uh, it, it goes on. This is probably the biggest one. We literally just did a video about this, about the insurance side, or not the insurance, the investment side of this. This is more talking about the insurance side of it, about avoiding probate. So the probate system is the system that your estate will go through to be finalized through the court system. And that process can take months, if not a year or more, if your estate is incredibly complicated. And this keeps it out of that system, much in the way, like my recent video where I talked about, um, transfer on death and beneficiary accounts. This is going to be so much faster. It talks about an example of a father trying to pass their business down to their children and how they, he wants to make sure that they have enough assets when he passes in hand in order to continue to operate the business until everything moves through the court system. So they also talk a little bit about uh, privacy there. Goes through all sorts. I was really quite quite an article. Goes uh, you know kind of all through that and the process, which in a state any estate attorney is going to go through. It talks a little bit about um, this is generation skipping tax, which is an important kind of subsection of the estate law and taxation law that uh, you know kind of prevents a couple of loopholes. But that is really it. Um, you know, like I said, working with an estate attorney is incredibly important. And Virtually everyone needs to do it. And it is not something, it's not a problem that is going to go away. I strongly recommend you address it sooner rather than later. And that is about it. I hope this has been informative. I will talk to you soon. Thank you.